Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I just want to show you a little something that um, I kind of came up with the other day and I thought, you know what, maybe I'll share it with you guys. You're looking at this box probably going, what the hell is the box for? And this is something I bought at Home Depot. I wasn't too happy with my sump light. I didn't find it all that bright. So I was looking and these were on for 59 bucks or 69 I'm not sure. But anyways, it's LED. They had one up on the wall and it seemed like it gave off a bluish light. And so I didn't. I don't want something too too yellow. Um, I don't know why, because I think yellow gives you better growth for the macroalgae and stuff. But um, anyway, I didn't want to go too yellow because I'm not trying to grow crazy algae everywhere. So I bought this. Before I get into showing you the light on the in the sump, I just want to show you a little info on it. Um, hopefully, you guys can read that okay. Let's try to focus. There we go. So you can see that it's basically in the daylight range. 5000K would be um, daylight, or give or take. They've got the scale there anyway. But, um, so we'll go ahead and I'll show you the thing anyways. It's equivalent to a 150 watt halide. So here it is in the, in the sump. Let's focus again here. You gotta love the iPhone. So, there's my bio cube, so i got to use a glass to hold the bag down. But, um, yeah, I noticed that I didn't... Some people's chatomorph or whatever, they grow like a lot. Mine kind of just sits at that little ball. It's not like a crazy amount to say that I've been growing it like over a year. So, I was thinking that maybe a new light would do it. There's the light right there. Um, I just kind of got it wired in, probably not the best yet, but it is bright. So, now the main thing is, is actually there's something else though. So I got it and thought, okay, well it's uh, it's good light, it's plenty bright. I saw it on the wall, it's blindingly bright. And it seems to work look pretty good on the sump. And I was like, you know what, that kind of looks like sunlight. And it's got a nice shimmer. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I said, oh, well shit, I wonder what it'll look like in my tank. And actually, it's not that bad. So if you guys bear with me, I will uh, pause the clip and I'm just going to go set it up and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got it all set up. That's so just sitting on the top of my tank. Um, but I wanted you guys to see that. This is the light without it. This is just running um, six bulbs, which are three blue, one purple, and two 10,000K. And that is under the new LED there and I wanted to share this with you guys it's I'm gonna be changing my lights up you know um, anyway I wanted to share that with you guys though because maybe there's someone out there that's looking I think if you were to supplement it with enough blue that it's probably alright you, you guys see for yourself you can judge and see what you think um, I've had it down there for a few days and I haven't been noticing any excess algae as of yet but it obviously may take some time so uh, you guys uh, anyone that watches my videos normally knows that anything I find that I find could be useful for others I like to share it and so you can see how blue it makes the part without it look like make sure you guys get a full you know understanding here so you could make your own judgment, maybe you would like it. It's plenty bright, I could take that up off the water if the cord was a bit longer from where I have it plugged in. Um, and it would probably spread the light out very nicely. So on a 5 foot tank, probably 3 of them would be great with a couple of T5s. A couple 48 inch actinic T5s or actinic uh, LEDs probably would be awesome. I don't know, I, I, I was actually almost tempted to set up a, a demo tank or throw some frags in the sump and see what happens. Tell me what you guys think. Maybe you think I should do that. If you think I should do that, let me know. I'll throw a piece of frag rack down there and we'll uh, try it out. Thanks for watching, guys.